Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do the first project on the Cricut Easy Press. Um, we've got Christian here with me, but he doesn't want to be on camera. So they sent this, um, I did an unboxing video yesterday and they sent some HTV, it's glitter HTV, it's very pretty, and it's the Cricut logo. And they sent the, the, a bag for everything to go into. It came in a bag. So, a little bit of a tight fit. You're supposed to keep the cord out, but I didn't want to. Okay, so here's the easy press. Can you still see it in the screen? Okay. Yep. So I'm going to set that there and we're going to set our project up over here. It comes with an easy press quick start guide. And this is what's going to give us our instructions to do the whole thing all the way to the end. So we're going to put the Cricut logo on the bag. That's the project today. That's the like easy start project for the Cricut Easy Press. I'll let you help you get to know your machine. Um, it says to plug in and power your press, set the temperature to 290 degrees Fahrenheit, set the temperature for 30 seconds. When it's ready to go, you'll hear a beep. Get prepped. I'm going to go ahead and prep my surface first, and then I'll set that thing on. So find your surface. I did. It's firm and flat. It's my table. Make sure to avoid flimsy padded ironing boards. To protect your surface, use Cricut Easy Press mat sold separately or a fluffy folded bath towel. So I have this piece of plywood that I have a piece of batting and then a piece of like just cotton fabric over. That's what I'm using, but I went ahead and got a towel anyways. I think that's probably enough, but I'm gonna get the towel anyways since this is my first time. All right, so I'm gonna put it a little bit low so that when this is scrunched up, you can still see the C. But you can place it wherever you want. All right, let's power this baby up. about what to unplug. <laughs> okay, so I heard it chirp. Made a little chirpy noise. Plug in and power it on. Power, can you see the digital mm -hmm. part? Okay. Yep. Okay, so plug in and power on your press. Set the temp to 290 degrees. Okay, so you have to put the temperature first and then 290. Set the timer for 30 seconds, and that's set, and then it says when it's ready to go, you'll hear a beep. Just like your oven. <laughs> okay, and then preheat base material. Place the press over your drawstring bag, pressing for five seconds to remove wrinkles and moisture. Never skip this step. Trust us, it's important. <coughs> when I was using the Cricut... Uh, Sport Flex, I think, some kind of stretchier HTV. They had the same same instructions. You needed to heat up your your surface first. Okay, so number four says to position and press. Position the included pre-cut iron-on material onto the center of the bag, shiny side, clear liner. That's this part. So the shiny part is like a Teflon covering that you're going to peel off all of this. And this part right here is the glue. This is the HTV part. So that's why you cut it backwards whenever you have to make your, when you're making your design, you want to make it backwards if it's directional and you're doing HTV. So position the included pre-cut iron-on material into the center of the bag, shiny side facing up. Place Cricut Easy Press on top, start the timer, and apply gentle pressure until it beeps. Flip and repeat. Flip, flip the bag over and reverse the side of, press the reverse side of the material for an additional 15 seconds. Pressing both sides ensures the design sticks for the long haul. And then the big finish, while the iron on film still feels warm to the touch, test a corner. If the liner doesn't lift easily, reapply and reheat for a few more seconds. Remove the liner and voila, your new Cricut drawstring bag is ready to go. Okay. All right, so. That was the beat. We're going to preheat our base material pressing for five seconds. Okay, this is going to be fun. 
When I first saw these, I thought, what? A giant iron? That's weird. <laughs> I didn't know it was for HTV. But still, look but how nice you could do sheets much. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not that I ever iron sheets, but maybe I would. <laughs> <laughs> it says to do it for five seconds, but there's a lot of wrinkles in this bag, so. Okay, it says do not pre or do not skip this step. Never skip this step. Okay. <laughs> now position the included pre-cut iron on material. Shiny side up. Place the easy press on top. Start the timer. So we don't need to put like a parchment paper or anything. That freaks me out. But Can I ask a question? Is that yeah. low enough? Because you said you want it to be low enough when you scrunch the bag up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be plenty okay. low enough because it's okay. still going to have gotcha. that part too. Okay, so position the pre-cut iron on bag, place the cricket on top, start the timer, and apply the gentle pressure until it beats. But what, how much time? It's preset, you set it for 30 seconds earlier. Right, 30 seconds to heat up, right? No, it beeps when it's to temp. Oh. The 30 seconds is the preheat for the application time. Sorry. That's okay, no, thank you. So you'd put it on there, I think, and you press the green go and button and then push and it starts the green. The timer. Okay, so place the Cricut Easy Press on top, start the timer, and apply gentle pressure until it beeps. So that must be the start the timer. We'll see. I believe it is. <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. And apply gentle pressure. It said. So the other side for 15 seconds. I never thought about that. Yeah, with the other Cricut material that I used, it did that. Mm. It, it asked you to do that. It was on the directions. Just like when we used our regular iron to do HTV, we've never done the backside of anything. For the most part, yeah. yeah. And we can't expect any Maybe of this stuff to last have. really long time. Yeah. Okay, so there's the back of the thing, and now we're going to set our timer for 15 seconds. Can you still see it? Yep. Okay. Just get to move your hand out of the way so they can see it. Okay. There you go. And then set that on the back. I saw a giant wrinkle here. Okay, set that on the back and start. Oh, with gentle pressure. That doesn't say gentle pressure on this side, but... Just to be safe. I'm sure it's okay. Okay. And then let's go ahead and power it off. While the iron on film still feels warm to the touch, test a corner. Oh, I can tell it's already so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's glitter that they, the glitter HTV that they send with you, so it's going to pull a little harder than the other stuff. But oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I can see all those shirts we're going to make for nieces. I now. know, for everybody. For everybody. I want to make a bunch of free hugs shirts and hand them out so people can go out and give hugs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. And now my neuroticness would press it again, but we don't have to do that. It says, while the iron-on film still is warm to the touch, test the corner. If the liner does not lift easily, reapply and reheat. Remove the liner, voila. Your bag is ready to go. So I don't have to do any more pressing. It says, also right here, it says, remember not all fabrics and iron-on types interact in the same way. Flip through the welcome book for essential Cricut Easy Press and iron-on information. You'll be an expert in no time. So there's lots of different kinds of HTV. There's lots of different temperatures and pressures and fabrics that you can and can't use. So get yourself educated on all of those things. And the more I play with this, the more I'll help educate you too. So if you have any tips or questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.